There's something about how this place forms a different kind of person. On my high school team, we had five guys make the NBA. We had the county rocking. You mentioned Prince George's County. People know what it's about. It's the mecca of basketball. There are those who come before us upon whose shoulders we stand. Being from this area, you have to have tough skin. The gym became his sanctuary. PG County guy. Provide buckets for America. You take it like too serious. Prince George packs a lot of power, a lot of character. I don't really think they hear us. It's nothing that you can do to stop that competitive edge. We're pushing the community and the culture forward. It's just in the water. The trailer starts with two kids running towards the Seat Pleasant Activity Center, where Kevin Durant spent a large majority of his time developing his game as a young player. Also in 2017, Durant donated up to $60,000 for new outside full-length basketball courts at the Activity Center located in Prince George's County. It then transitions to the overall theme of the trailer, where it says three out of 10,000 high school players make the NBA, unless you're in PG County. We then see Los Angeles Lakers point guard Quinn Cook say, on his high school team, we had five guys make the NBA, counting himself, Victor Oladipo, the second pick in the 2013 draft, Jeremy Grant, selected in the 2014 draft, his brother Jerry and Grant, the 19th pick in the 2015 draft, and Jarius Lyles, who signed with the Utah Jazz in 2018. We then learned that current NBA players Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, and Quinn Cook are the executive producers of the PG County basketball documentary. We then hear Marissa Coleman proclaim PG County as a mecca of basketball. Coleman, a PG native, was a McDonald's All-American and 2005 Washington Post Girls Player of the Year from St. John's High School and was also a star basketball player at the University of Maryland in College Park, where she was the first Terp to amass 1,500 points, 700 rebounds, 300 assists, and 100 blocks. She was the second pick in the 2009 WNBA draft. Next, we hear current NFL studio host James Brown, a DeMatha grad, who says, There are those who come before us upon whose shoulders we stand. Brown was a star basketball player at DeMatha, coached by the legendary Morgan Wooten in 1969. Brown has often credited the late coach Wooten with preparing him not only for success on the court, but also for the game of life. Next, we see University of Maryland great Lynn Bias shooting free throws. Bias attended Northwestern High School in Hyattsville, Maryland, before attending the University of Maryland. As a senior at Northwestern, Bias was a 1982 Washington Post first team all met and ironically lost the Maryland State Championship game on a last-second buzzer beater to High Point High School at Coalfield House on the University of Maryland campus before becoming a Terps legend. We then see former NBA and University of Maryland player Steve Francis say, being from this area, you have to have tough skin. Was very shocked to see Francis in this PG County documentary, since it is well known Francis is a Montgomery County native, and also a few years back in 2010, he took a subtle shot at Durant by claiming to be the greatest player out of the D.C. Maryland area since Lamb Bias. Kevin Durant can't say that. Michael Beasley can't say that. None of those guys can say that. I am the best player to come out of D.C. since Bias. Durant brushed it off by tweeting, Steve Francis, I appreciate you and what you did to pave the way for the guys coming out of the DMV area, but let us youngins do what we do, just support. But for every Steve Francis soundbite, there's a PG County legend somewhere not being given the opportunity to speak on his basketball journey starting in the county. Flashing across the screen, we are told to see how one county raised the game with picture profiles of Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Michael Beasley, Markel Fultz, Marissa Coleman, Jeff Green, and Quinn Cook. NBA veteran Jeff Green says Prince George packs a lot of power, a lot of character. Green, the only PG County public school player in the trailer, was a 2004 Washington Post first team all met from Northwestern High School, where as a senior he averaged 19 points and 14 rebounds while leading Northwestern to the Maryland 4A title. Michael Beasley says there is nothing you can do to stop that competitive edge. 
Beasley burst on the scene as a high school sophomore in 2005 to become a Washington Post first team all Met, who averaged 20 points and 13 rebounds, along with future Duke All-American Nolan Smith to lead Riverdale Baptist to a 33-1 record. Riverdale Baptist never lost a game with Beasley in the lineup. A picture is shown of a young Durant and Beasley in which Durant says, we are pushing the community and culture forward. Durant and Beasley, longtime friends and former AAU teammates, were both McDonald's All-American Game MVPs, and both were also the number two NBA draft pick in back-to-back -back years. Blink and you would have missed him. Former 2005 Washington Post Player of the Year Dante Cunningham of Potomac High School makes a quick appearance at the 54-second mark. Cunningham led Potomac to their first undefeated season in school history at 27-0 as well as the Maryland 2A championship and the post number one ranking for the first time in any sport. He averaged 18 points, 13 rebounds, and five blocks per game. Finally, Durant closes it out with the tagline, It's just in the water. Make sure to check out the Showtime documentary, Basketball County in the Water, May 15th at 9 p.m. on Showtime.